Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Welcome again to Now and Together Industry Edition. So I'm very glad to inspire you uh, on behalf of the Linear Pelle Fair team. And as you remember, because now most of you, and I see that you are participating in a very huge number, you like to be inspired by our, uh, our people, our inspirational people, and also to our creator and visionary person. Uh, thanks to all the community that it's connecting with us. I'm so glad today to introduce the topic, which is Italian Genius DNA as a key of branding success. So now let's introduce you the today guest, Stefan Hamel, Brand Catalyst. Hi, Stefan. Hey, how are you doing, Greta? Thank you so much for having me, us here. Uh, we are very glad and um, it is a very interesting session. And um, I think that, um, yeah, we will start to analyze uh, the Italian genius DNA very soon. Yes, and let me now introduce Coco Valeria Tobia, Marketing Coordinator of Vibram. So now we understood that today we are talking about Genius, DNA, Italian genius, and we are talking about Vibram. Thanks to, um, to you, to you both. So I'm very, I'm very glad to have you here because we want to start today to share with all the community uh, how to decode the Italian culture DNA in connection with innovation and creation from an industrial archaeology, can we say something like this, to a lifestyle product. Stefan, is your room? Yeah, so, well, um, as Orieta said already, I'm a brand catalyst and uh, maybe a lot of people will ask themselves, what does that mean? Uh, in fact, it means that I'm trying to stimulate the industrial capacity, feeding it with uh, the creative minds, um, and feeding everything with intuitions. Um, the analysis of the internal industrial process um, has to be historical and gets to a precise definition in its history for future challenges. So here we are already at, uh, uh, at the industrial archaeology. That means that um, what we are looking into is to find through the history of a company, of a brand, um, a certain attitude that now is very often uh, defined as lifestyle. Lifestyle, uh, in fact, is uh, a way of uh, behaving um, and the brands are trying to influence uh, through their product, through their style, through their um, freshness, uh, something that we can call trends. So um, I'm very fascinated about uh, this Italian genius DNA, uh, even though I'm half Austrian, half Italian, that's why my name is very Austrian and less Italian. But uh, since I was a boy, I had this uh, deep love, uh, this passion for Etruscan. And in fact, in this country, Italy, uh, the Etruscans were the first to start the branding. So uh, it is very exciting because uh, the Etruscan gave the notion of branding to the Roman Empire. And if we read uh, Senatus Populusque Romanum, uh, we had this first huge, uh, let's say global for the time, uh, branding system that was uh, through many ways influencing uh, the habits of all the population who had been colonized. But uh, this is something um, when the people ask, how 
do you do in Italy? How can you have always the right thing, uh, the right touch, uh, the right idea, the right color? Is because we are used since nearly 3,000 years to do so. We are specialized in the perfection because uh, here the request of perfection has always been. Um, I always remember a pair of shoes that were found maybe two or three years ago in Rome, uh, digging in the imperial uh, uh, archaeology. And these shoes, if you look at them, could be like shoes of uh, yesterday fashion show. And the, the, the thing that impressed me most is the preciseness. And so I think one of the most important um, visions in Italy is the perfection of the product, the preciseness of the development that after the Roman Empire, obviously the Renaissance gave us back to the Medici family, the branding became systematic. And um, the, this stratification, these layers of knowledge is something that um, I'm very upset to <laughs> admit, but you cannot translate it and you cannot um, have it somewhere else because only in Italy, thanks to the geography, thanks to the beauty, I don't want to seem very uh, chauvinistic, but it is the Italian heritage is like uh, how, why is the pizza the best in Napoli? Because the water of Napoli is, is, is giving to the pizza this whole atmosphere. And this is the same story with uh, the Made in Italy and all the details that Linea Pelle shows so well um, to the choice that is given at the fair, uh, that if you need accessoires, if you need all the little things, uh, they make uh, not only the quality, but also the style. I think it's really inspiring what you say, because so you are taking in consideration some uh, let me say some elements that they was maybe referred to the past, but I want to start to get to the future because this kind of past can be read to this word like Carmina Campus. What Carmina Campus is? Well, Carmina Campus is in fact um, a Roman uh, definition and uh, but of something very futuristic because Carmina Campus uh, has been uh, one of the first companies of uh, who did systematically recycling and uh, upcycling and uh, through the figure of Ilaria Venturini Fendi uh, there was um, this research done on many things and uh, at a certain moment uh, the Bibram and Carmina Campus crossed the road, met, and um, it was a quite interesting experience because uh, Carmina Campus was very much interested in um, garbage, uh, things that the company would throw away, and to the research done and to the uh, selection of garbage done uh, by Ilaria, uh, there was also a new material that came out, uh, which is a uh, more flex, which you cut off when you do the sole. And uh, as you can see also in this picture, um, Ilaria was also able to do jewels out of the uh, locks of the soles. And um, the bag you see uh, was done with all the things you cut away when you clean the sole after being uh, baked, as you say. Um, in, in, in the uh, cluster. So uh, it was a very fascinating experience that had a big echo uh, that uh, helped uh, both companies to understand new dimensions. And so I think um, that here we find uh, uh, analysis that uh, through uh, certain DNAs, uh, when they are put together, there is uh, so like a chemical um, interaction that develops something totally new and something really futuristic. So I really think that this was an idea that was related to which, which year, when, when this happened? Uh, this happened in 2016, if I don't go wrong. Um, and um, it was just, a, you know, um, a moment where um, 
Ilaria was interested to see the factory and going to the factory, seeing the, the process of doing the salts and what fell down on the left and uh, right while you clean and you perf make uh, everything to perfection. Uh, she was absolutely uh, fascinated and started to work on these new materials. So I think brilliant, brilliant because we are talking about recycling. <laughs> Uh, we are talking now so strongly about uh, upcycling and what is really fascinating is that we are talking about uh, a brand, a company that work with a, with a part of the shoe, with a part of the shoe which is the outsole and it, at, already at that time was the idea was okay let me see what's going on in on the back, how they work, how, how can I remanage and remelt the material in a very creative way. So I wanna just point it out some of the topics that during our, every of our webinars are coming up. So a new way to be sustainable, but in this case, I cannot say is a new way of be sustainable because it was already something that you did a few years ago. But yes, it happened a few years ago, yeah. But uh, the company itself, um, Vibram, already had a material called EcoStep, which is a material that um, is a fusion of different uh, leftovers. You can yeah. see here, I don't know if you... Ah, yes, yeah, this one. Um, where yeah, we um, put together uh, bits and pieces. We have also this one. Uh, cut together uh, and there is a new um, new source. It's a new application. In this case it's a new application. Yes. But let me let me go back to the creativity aspect because we are talking about making a brand. So and so we are evaluating other elements like this is another very interesting project that was uh, something that took the brand to a very, very uh, challenging, challenging level. So entering inside of the design of the iconic pieces, we were talking about how to build an icon. And now we have this kind of project from Furoshiki, so which is the Vibram Furoshiki, so the wrapping soul. How this idea came up to the company, how do you work it in this way? Well, um, I, it is quite interesting because uh, it is not the first project that uh, we will talk later about the Five Fingers, but Furushiki is a project as all the um, products, the finished products of Vibram uh, are not so much a product, but they are an advertisement. Like, uh, in order to uh, make the clientele understand what the real essence of uh, the company's work is, uh, there's always a development of something. The Connection Lab, where we are now, is like the temple of this research, where everybody comes to understand new solutions, new ideas uh, and uh, maybe also provocations but um, we want to do something here that really gives a change and so the wrapping goal um, here we go uh, was also the idea of have a soul that you can wrap your food into it and uh, obviously there is also um, the Japanese hand of uh, one of the designers, Masaya, who together with uh, Simona Montemari did this whole concept. And it was so successful uh, um, that, uh, yeah, after years of development, when it was presented, it got more or less immediately the RD Design Award, uh, which is uh, the um, Compasso d'Oro. Uh, which is the Oscar of design in Italy, but not only for Italy, but all over the world. It's followed with a lot of engagement and a lot of excitement. And so uh, Vibram uh, was able, um, 
well, it was already mentioned years ago, but uh, as you know, at the Oscars, there are the mentionings and then there are the winner. And uh, that time the winner was uh, Vibram with the rapping soul. And obviously we are very proud of it. But um, this uh, soul, besides the fact that it is very uh, resistant and helpful, is also a very easy solution to use and can be very helpful for, let's say, the senior generation, because, uh, you know, we are talking always about innovation future and all that. But in the meanwhile, uh, it is important uh, also to take care. And take care is something uh, which for Vibram, I think is one of the basic mottos, because uh, you take care on how you put your foot on the, on the floor, on the territory, and you take care uh, also of the young generations, but also of the older generations. So, um, yeah, this is uh, the rapping soul uh, that uh, had um, a lot of uh, results. Okay, let me, let me say that, so now just to, just to jump a little bit inside of the creation of a brand starting from a soul. So you show this price, that this price was a connection of the innovation, creativity, finding, uh, something that was really creative. So to be different, to be unique, to be completely uh, challenging, proposing something which is really futuristic. I think this was one of the very important points that can come up. And now we like to go through uh, the Cararmato Tank Soul, which is the pictures I already wanted to show you because it's what we're switching right now. So again, we are inside of another aspect, alpine lifestyle, outdoor lifestyle. So what Cararmato Soul uh, is in connection with a lifestyle that very soon became a completely another starting point of a new generation. Maybe Valeria can give us some, some, some details around this kind of parts. First of all, nice to meet you. Um, very pleased to be here. Um, yes, we can say that the Cararmato and the Yellow Octagon for more than 80 years um, become a symbol of vibrant in the world and a symbol of performance, of quality uh, and of innovation, of course. So as we can uh, say it also with uh, Stefan, we can say that innovation, creativity and design are, and research and development, of course, are some key points um, of Vibram. So um, really starting from this Cararmato soul, that is the most, uh, we can say, um, known soul in the world <laughs> and has become the history of, um, of Vibram. And we have to say um, a very important evolution uh, for the brands because actually we can say that starting from um, an industrial uh, reality, uh, Vibram uh, becomes to speak more and more with the final consumer and of course with Furoshiki and Five Fingers uh, became really, uh, we can say, famous. So for me, uh, actually, uh, it's really interesting to see how a component brand becomes really a brand, a really an important uh, um, aspect uh, for all our collaborations. So, especially in the last seven, eight years, um, we have seen this increasingly, uh, increasingly presence of Fibron in the lifestyle sector. Um, because as we talk about, um, when, when we talk about lifestyle and fashion world, we talk about a mix mm -hmm. of um, culture, creativity, uh, design, so uh, also outdoor. Uh, so it's really um, a melting pot, <laughs> we can say. Oh, so um, it's really interesting for me to have this opportunity to uh, work in Wilburman and especially with Stefan and especially in this market segment uh, that I love because it's um, really creative and stimulating, we can say. Yeah, and we can also say that you are, uh, you are giving us the, opportun us the opportunity to see the personalization aspect. In this case, we were so attracted to talk about the Tropical Soul by Campana Brothers, which 
maybe Stefan can introduce us. Who are the Campana brothers? Well, <laughs> Which is the connection between them and uh, part of a shoe? So, and also an alpine aspect. So, let's see who are them. I show you some pictures, maybe something. Yes, can explain maybe on the pictures, but uh, as you see, um, I mean, everybody knows the, the original uh, Caragmato soul which was done in 1937 by Vitale Bramani, the founder of the company. And uh, in uh, 2017, we were um, uh, having the celebration of the anniversary. And so uh, there was this request to the Campana brothers that, who are Brazilian star designers, let's say like this, uh, that are working for Louis Vuitton, that are as, uh, furniture, let's say, object designer. Yeah, they did in their lifetime also shoes for Brazilian companies, but uh, basically they um, are in the world of the furniture object design. So it was very interesting to approach with them a problem uh, that is uh, the um, Caragmato uh, shoe sold by Vitale has been designed and with a precision and, and uh, Vibram is very uh, known for not only the quality of the product, but the quality of the product development. And Vitale tested these shoes on, on the mountains because he was an alpine mountaineer. And uh, the shoes came, the soul came out of all his experience. So the topic requested uh, by the campanas would come out of a totally different landscape, not our Central European Alps, but uh, the uh, Brazilian jungle. So uh, the idea was, uh, how can we face the problem of the mud? Um, to have uh, a soul that works in a totally opposite climate, in a totally opposite um, uh, terrain. Because, you know, the, the, the fascinating point um, of the company's research, as we have here, for example, this soul with Arctic grip, which is a new um, idea of having glass pieces in rubber in order that you don't slip on the uh, ice. And uh, I think this is very important because uh, there's not only the brilliant design of uh, the Campana brothers who everybody in the design world uh, appreciates, but uh, there has been also this, and there's still going on this research on what type of rubber of uh, sauce you are mixing together. Uh, so can, I, can I just give you already one opinion that we have some question right now? And this is the reason why I turn it to talk about, so the technical aspect, I assume it's so important. So in this case, Campana Brother, as we know, they are not shoe designer. They are not fashion designer. They completely comes from another side of the aspect. But it's so interesting to see that innovating the material in this case was also a way to enter in a cultural revolution, which means entering a tropical area, uh, walking on the beach uh, or walking on the alpine uh, uh, landscape. It's also taking us to something which is really, really important, yeah. the outdoor. Outdoor is really the topic of our dreaming lifestyle. <laughs> So everything is starting from this because it means vacation, free time. It's really me. It's meaning practicality. So it's it's bringing together uh, a kind of freedom. So when I'm talking of a kind of freedom, I want to jump directly in this kind of picture because I think the the story it's longer. And the question that we we are we are having right now is really this. How strong was the connection to study the functionality or more the attitude, the lifestyle? And I think the five finger was one of the examples. Yeah. Maybe Valeria can yeah. jump in. 
they always say that Vibram produce high performer rubber sole. So um, what is really important for Vibram is to uh, give performance. Uh, so um, studied and research about components and uh, study about this compound, uh, especially um, Vibram started with the outdoor work in safety. Um, and of course, uh, we can say that during time, uh, we have also created some special compounds for uh, lifestyle. Five Fingers, uh, born in 2004 and launched to international market in 2006, um, it, uh, we can say it is um, a mix of performance because we really um, talk about a revolution. Five Finger is a new barefoot way, <laughs> we can say. So um, emerges performance uh, together with lifestyle. So uh, of course, Vibram began always and always think about outdoor um, and try to explain their compounds through Five Fingers products. Um, it was really important Five Fingers because during time began a really uh, icon of uh, minimalism footwear. And with this picture, we would like to emphasize uh, this iconic high five because uh, in the recent uh, collaboration with some important brands like the Japanese Suikoke and also Balenciaga, uh, their um, art uh, designers have decided to present them on the runway show also in Paris and present a different way uh, to interpret a different interpret interpretation of, uh, of five fingers. Um, so it's really interesting to see how these different words can merge together. Yeah, and in this case, uh, talking about outdoor, um, we have also another aspect. Outdoor is also connected to uh, innovative way to feel uh, free, so light, to uh, keep in consideration the nature and the environment. So, and I really like it to talk about these topics because in the outdoor culture, uh, you were talking about all of the storytelling from the past mm -hmm. and today which are the changing innovation, that innovative way that you have to incorporate. So I see this kind of digital 3D pictures compared mm -hmm. to the past aspect. How strong is this aspect? In yeah, uh, of course, the communication is really changed during time. So we have this nice RDV uh, showing uh, the foundation, so the Cararmato tank uh, that Stephen has already presented um, with the today, so really the five finger for barefoot movement because it creates really um, a community um, towards this project. We can say that during time, since its foundation, Vibram has always had uh, an attention to outdoor. So as we can talk also to uh, sustainability, um, we can say that Vibra has already had this uh, uh, important link with nature and outdoor, also with the product because they are long lasting product. Um, they are, um, they have um, um, this quality uh, and you can use them of course uh, during um, a lot of year. So, uh, basically uh, they are really um, we have this strong connection to to the earth not only with the soul but also with five fingers and with these barefoot shoes but i have another question so that some somebody uh, is asking so the connection with the nature it's because the compound it's made by another typology of material that maybe it's recycling part of the same outsole or how this can be uh, explained or connected which types mm -hmm. of innovation can you tell us something yeah. more so we are yes starting from 1994 
uh, Bibram has already worked about these uh, um, sustainability aspects. So we can say that there is a st sustainability way in Bibram. So in 1994, um, we have produced and created this eco step uh, starting from production waste. So it was a long time ago, we can say. So it's uh, really in our soul. Uh, to have this uh, uh, sustainable and this green attitude. Um, moreover, during time, of course, and also now, we are launched at the last Linea Pelle uh, edition, the Noel compound that it is um, composed um, about more than 90% petrol-free ingredients. So starting from um, plant, we have used plants for the colors pigment. Uh, so we are uh, continuing an innovation uh, innovating this um, this compound also to um, respond to consumer needs uh, nowadays to be more sustainable in a certain way so but when we talk about consumer needs and now I want to I, I like to talk about my local outdoor which is your local outdoor, which is your Valeria and also Stefan, you both, when we talk about my local outdoor, what do you have in your mind? Yes, in this period, we have seen that uh, uh, my local outdoor nearby, <laughs> near our house, is really important. So together with Bibram, we have launched this uh, a very important campaign called My Outdoors. Uh, so thanks to Bibram Hatlets, we would like to um, introduce the um, local places of our outlets and just show that uh, also uh, near our home, near our office, there are very beautiful and interesting places that we have to discover and we have to find time to discover them. Uh, so local door basically is to um, is just an inspiration to uh, find a way to discover our uh, neighborhood, we can say, and appreciate them, of course, and of course, Italy in this moment. And Stefan, which is your local outdoor? My local outdoor is, um, well, I think in Italy, besides living in the center of a city, um, when you are a bit in the countryside, you are very lucky because you find also, you discover, and I think a lot of people discover in these days of the lockdown, uh, the donkey ways, the old uh, ways where the donkey used to go uh, with all the uh, luggage and all the heavy things before uh, we had cars on big roads. And um, I, my, uh, I did a lot of uh, research on this and I was very happy to find these really ancient paths where you would walk. Uh, and Vibram was not absolutely cool because also with five fingers, you enjoy very much um, because these old roads have the pavement. They are, uh, they are all done properly with little stones. And um, yeah, that was my, my local yeah, outdoor yeah. and is still going on to be my uh, future outdoor. So the question is really related also to something that's going on right now very strongly. So the brands of Finnish products, they are looking to understand what's going on in every country in the world because a local outdoor it can be similar but different in Korea, in Japan, in United States, in uh, Sweden or German, different habits. My local outdoor means different habits. Are you doing some specific research in this kind of field or you speak more uh, with the designer, you listen what the designer uh, propose in this case? Um, Valeria or Stefan, both of you can ask where. Well, Valeria, do, do you want to start? Yeah, um, yes, of course. We are trying to, um, I think, support the brands, of course, in this moment. And also, we can say with this local outdoor, we'd like to promote, uh, of course, outdoor activity and show that uh, um, it's important to uh, spend time outside and, um, of course, use um, 
quality product for doing them. So uh, Vibram support, uh, uh, for example, uh, outdoor brands uh, uh, in their performance and to communicate the added value uh, we can give to, to the brand. Yeah, in this case, Stefan, you have uh, some... Uh, for me, uh, I'm, uh, as you might have noticed, more historical. And oh. so <laughs> I'm getting back to the Carmato soul, which is amazing uh, that this soul was able um, to give such a passion, such an energy uh, to, um, to make a whole company move and... Uh, engage uh, for the next future and yes, uh, yes. Uh, we, we see from this one soul which was studied uh, for giving more security on uh, walking in the mountains the um, whole ambience uh, uh, gets into a sort of machinery where from there on all all these new souls are done uh, with this uh, deep um, way to, of approach and uh, it is fundamental that uh, this uh, first uh, idea of doing a soul but testing it um, was kept through this uh, 80, uh, now nearly 83 years and I think this is the, the big innovation that Vibram is not only uh, conceiving, designing, producing, but it is also testing, and that means a lot. And uh, I hope you come to visit us uh, here in Milano or in Albizzate, where we have amazing testing rooms. So now I'm just because maybe you can see we have we have very several questions, and in this case, because I, I we got the point that so the DNA. It's this mixing between the functionality, uh, uh, getting some and anticipating something that will grow in the near future. But what about a soul for the moon, for astronauts, for the future? Maybe a collaboration with SpaceX? Why not? <laughs> Not. We, we so. already started some discussions uh, to be sincere, but uh, for the moment we are still keeping our feet on the earth. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you never know. But it's uh, very challenging. And uh, just as we are talking about um, the moon and uh, souls for the moon, uh, maybe we Vibram is always some steps ahead, and we are more maybe into the souls for Mars. Because um, Vibram uh, is also one of the major producers that obviously in the fashion world we don't see, but of security and safety. And security and safety is um, a dimension where you need to have, for example, uh, souls for uh, the firemen. And uh, that have to be resistant uh, at least up to 250 degrees. Or, uh, as I was saying, uh, you have to walk on the ice. Um, and I think this is the fascinating part. And in my vision, in my very personal vision, uh, security and safety, uh, the working uniforms are going to be one of the major new fashion trends in the future. So in this case, for security and, fa and, and safety, I think now we have new challenging or new skills that we need to propose. You never thought something about uh, antivirus or virus-free or some detectors that can be incorporated in the outsole because maybe it's a kind of new need, isn't it? Something that can go on right now? It Nothing is. in your in your hidden box that now you can take it back? Yeah, no, no, no. We already uh, were working as uh, um, I, I mean, Valeria can maybe tell uh, also about the um, uh, intelligent soul, the soul uh, that had uh, 
um, some techno technology, real technology, I mean, uh, GPS or things like that. And this is obviously, you can have a soul that is developing the social distance that started to be if somebody's getting too close to you. Uh, there's a lot of things uh, that were long before mm. this um, uh, pandemic crisis uh, mm. in search, because as we were explaining before, between the Connections uh, Lab and our uh, international, because we even mm -hmm. have a research center in, in the US, in Boston, and also in China, in Guangzhou, the, the Vivam Technological Center. And this makes you understand that it is quite a global the approach, is very global. And um, there is a lot of research uh, in different fields that is going on uh, always. Since we are in three parts of the world, we are working 24 hours always. And this always is uh, giving a, a really great um, result. And as you are talking about something, we were working on this already um, four or five years ago. Yes, so. of course. There will be maybe some next step. <laughs> of course, Vibram is always interesting in innovation and development. Of course, this uh, pandemic situation can create new opportunities for everyone. So we have a lot of um, um, a big uh, research innovation um, center in China and also in, in Albizate and in the US. So maybe there are some secret uh, innovation that will come up soon. But Okay, so we need to stay connected because in this case, I think the designer are taking uh, this idea. I think, I think something like this. It's yeah. interesting to know that in your research area, in a different area of the world, we have several types of designers. So mm -hmm. the conversation with the high street brands, it's quite intense. So for instance, uh, I love it to mention Sui Kake uh, collaboration. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, I think it's, it's really interesting to see yeah. because in this case, which, which was the hidden part? How Sui Koke uh, came to you? Because it's really another world. So if I, if I knew... Yeah. Something, Actually, we, we can yeah. say that are our, um, our relationship and of course the um, more um, important presence of Vibram in the lifestyle segment. Um, so starting from the last year, um, we had many collaboration with different high street brands and we have created some limited edition like the um, Carmina Campus or Campana Brothers uh, flip flop and Suikoke is one of our recent collaboration. Uh, so Vibram has found a way to speak with this um, kind of a designer. And it's really nice for us because it's, um, we can work together and work about, uh, of course, innovation and design. So it's a win-win relationship. Um, and we, our designer, of course, work with a brand designer, and then we will see this kind of product. <laughs> so where, where can we buy this product? So is Yeah, yeah, you can buy them on the um, Sweet Coffee, of course, website and the other uh, marketplace, we can say. So they are available and not only Five Fingers and Sweet Coffee, but of course, uh, um, we have made for the last season some interesting, uh, um, some interesting products. And of course, for this uh, spring summer 20, of course, because we'd like to, to start this spring summer 20, uh, there are some nice sandals, uh, sweet cock vibram. So, yeah, and I also love to see another collection, and this is one of our Arthur Arbesser designer that presented a Milan Fashion Week. And it's interesting to see also another types of interpretation, which is really intriguing because we see nature and the special outdoor and the socks. So, Stefan, maybe you already have a pair of these shoes? Yeah, I have a pair of Arthur shoes um, 
uh, here and um, which were five fingers. In fact, uh, the work done with Artu uh, was a work uh, which anticipated in a certain sense uh, Suikoke and uh, yeah. a sort of relaunch of, uh, of um, uh, the five finger project or into more a fashion world. And um, as we know, Arthur is uh, a stylist that is very much referring to a certain uh, um, precise elegance, very Viennese with this uh, sort of secessionist uh, uh, statements. And I love uh, very much the work he did uh, because you see this shoe, I don't know if uh, you can see it very well. Um, it's very simple, very plain but uh, really had a big success. And uh, so, you know, you have to throw some uh, stimulus and then the people uh, start to find out. Uh, it was a little bit like uh, making out of, uh, uh, like ugly fashion becomes uh, extremely uh, trendy. Yeah. And I think this is one of the VBAMs that, that, that yellow octagon, uh, the, this idea uh, also on keeping a, a very strict vision on the branding, on keeping this uh, symbol everywhere, uh, gave to the company uh, uh, very, a lot of respect. And also uh, the fashion brands that maybe some years ago were saying, no, we want just to have our brand, now are asking for the Vibram brand uh, to be together with them on it because Vibram is synonymous for quality. And if you go into an Alpine or let's say um, a, a, a shoe store where they sell uh, sport shoes and you turn around uh, the, the, the shoes, you will see that 90% is Vibram and, uh, or Vibram as some people say. Um, and I think, uh, but yeah. this is also interesting, you know, the name Vibram is Italian, obviously, which is Vitale Bramani. And just by the way, the first store of Vitale Bramani, Vibram, was in uh, Via della Spiga, so in the heart of the fashion district in Milano. And from there you see, because Alpine uh, activities were very uh, high-end, uh, um, high-end thing to do. And I think that Vibram has this absolute understatement of being something which is uh, above the lines. And this is why now um, also the fashion who at the beginning might have been a bit more uh, snobbish towards uh, uh, a technical product are now appreciating also for the fact that the people have to go more out and to walk around became something very important. I mean, to walk in the nature, to embrace the nature became a very important message. And yeah, I think this is- uh, Now I have another question because you was talking about uh, Via della Spiga. Yeah. So, we have a question, this is perfect. I was waiting the right time to ask you. So what about to open a Vibram store to sell shoes designed by various designers? So any ideas inside of the brand that we can know maybe some, uh, some secret around to become a B2C brands also it's very it's very unusual maybe for some i don't know in a marketing way valeria what do you think or in a strategic way stefan mm. yes in 2008 actually we have opened a flagship store in milan but actually what we are selling are our finished products so some also limited edition and of course all the wide range of five fingers and furoshiki uh, because um, of course we don't want to sell shoes but we want to sell performance and technology so through five fingers and furoshiki actually we are selling a sole a wrapping sole or a barefoot sole 
So what is really important for us is um, this point. Then, of course, uh, um, we cooperate with other brands, lifestyle brands, um, especially uh, to enhance their design, their performance. Um, but for us, the important thing is to focus on, on soul. Yes, I think that uh, there are uh, some surprises that we were preparing for the next future. And so we, we don't want to take you the surprise, but in the center of Milano, there will be uh, some new Vibram spaces or Vibram uh, laboratories or Vibram... Uh, Hub. Vibram. Yeah. Maybe more um, restaurant, coffee shop, uh, library. I don't know, but uh, there can be a lot of stories and I think this is going to be so amazing and so wonderful because uh, in Milano, there are a lot of people come just for the fashion um, or for the design, furniture design. And uh, I think uh, very soon the people will also be happy to make um, a, 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 a step into this um, uh, soul world and... Um, Get inspired. You mean, do you, you mean a space where you get inspired and where maybe you can share uh, what the, the different, let me say, the different thoughts that people, the different trust, the different challenging. So in this case, I like it also to ask you another thing. So this is coming up to this picture that it's taking us to a country I lost you. Uh, sorry, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you listen to me? Yes, no, now, yes. yes. I, I did hear the, your question, but... Uh... I can repeat your question. That's some, yeah, some, sorry. Some <laughs> so, I like it to come closer to the conclusion and speak about this picture that it's talking about repairing mm -hmm. or maybe something yeah. that's involving the community. But what what is this means for you? Yeah, this is another um, market segment that Vibram has. So, of course, we are selling shoes and we are working in different markets, outdoor, working safety, lifestyle, finished products. And there is also this kind of segment, so the, um, the repairing market. So we are well known worldwide and we give the customer the possibility to customize their shoes, of course, by repairing them and um, to test and to try also Vibram technology. And moreover, uh, it could be also a um, nice way to repair a shoe and give uh, our sustainable support <laughs> to, um, to the world, we can say, to the ambient. So you mean that repairing, it's maybe the contemporary way that you are using to be sustainable or involve your community. So this means designers uh, yes. can to design. Yes, you, you can play with, with, the sh with the soul, we can say, and not only um, repair your shoes with a vibrant technology that is a plus, but of course you also can play with the customization. So it's really nice to make something um, not only for you, but also for the uh, environment. Because uh, um, if you care about your shoes, because are your uh, lovely shoes that are always with you in every adventure, um, you can also give them a second life. And this is, could be um, a, nice, uh, a nice way to see this repairing world. <laughs> so we call uh, the GAR age in a certain yeah. way. Is that your, your, your concept around this? So, Stefan, we have another question. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna keep you so long, but we have another question that can give us a little bit. Somebody is asking, uh, which is the exact origin 
of Vibram Soul Rubber. Um, you are asking um, the question on the components, on what components, it... Components, components. Yeah. Well, maybe this is a question where um, Valeria is better prepared on the exact um, qualities of uh, rubber that are used, but as far as I know, there is a whole step also towards uh, caoutchouc. Yeah. In the future, there is a big research uh, on natural, yeah. natural rubber. Uh, you know, caoutchouc was the natural rubber before we started to process it out of uh, oil. And um, I think uh, it is, um, a sort of message that the company is putting an important value into resetting everything to plants uh, because it's like embracing a plant. You know that people are thinking that if you embrace a plant, it helps you to relax, it helps you to uh, have an exchange with nature. And so the soul in the future will also have this kind of exchange that it will be a natural uh, soul where uh, natural rubber is, um, is combined with uh, natural fiber. So in this case, rubber came from, 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 uh, from plants, but there are some ingredients that can um, permit to have uh, grip, durability, quality. So what Fibram is looking for is trying to find some natural ingredients and also use uh, production waste to create uh, uh, some natural compounds uh, like the eco step that use more than 30% uh, of, um, of waste, so of garbage, we can say production garbage, and of course, the oil that have more than 90% petrol free ingredients while maintaining the same vibrant quality that it's the main uh, key points for us. So very interesting, very interesting in this case also, one of our participants is proposing uh, keywords that now I already share with you, which is, we're talk, talking about Vibra Action, mm -hmm. so the Action community, wow. thank nice. so much. So I think we were talking about action, so thanks to you because you were talking about actions and actions that I assume that in sustainability take one of the biggest uh, aspects, but even with a lot, a lot of creativity and functional innovation. So let me say that I really want to thank Valeria, women first. Thank you so. Stefan, because you, you did a very brilliant talking and sharing your opinion and also i wanna uh, thanks to all the social community that as you know they listen us right now but uh, i seen so many people just reacting to our instagram stories and a little survey and then everybody will see again our interview i wish you like it in our youtube channel so please community get inspired and stay in touch because next week we will jump to a virtual world in an augmented reality. Thank you very much. Grazie. Thank you too. Thank you. Bye. See you soon. I see you in Milan, maybe. Lovely. We wait for you at the connection lab. Thank you so much.